what's the cure for depression at Barnes and Noble and I've seen this book before and I'm gonna talk about it I'm, t I'm streaming here on Facebook at the same time live so there's a book called feeling good and uh, it was interesting I was looking up did you know that 700,000 people a month Google depression and another 700,000 uh, Google anxiety attacks so if you've ever dealt with an anxiety attack you were telling me about how you have been having anxiety attacks recently right Kelsey put me on blast okay. put you on blast <laughs> so this book has a pretty badass technique without having to use drugs <laughs> Jazael Islao says marijuana is the cure <laughs> this is something called the lethargy cycle now this is pretty fascinating wait you gotta be better as a My camera arm woman. Hurts. use two hands Put your arm over my arm. I'm good. There you okay. go. All right. The lethargy cycle is pretty crazy, and there's a little grid here. And if you have you ever felt depressed, any of you on Facebook, any of you watching after the fact, so here's the cycle. It starts out with self-defeating thoughts, which are followed by self-defeating actions, which are followed by self-defeating emotions. Do you want to know what the name of the book is? It's called them? Feeling Good. It's sold uh, two million copies, and. In business, we call this a downward spiral, a race to the bottom. And so most people's life is a race to the bottom. You think financially, the more broke you are, then what happens? You get into the lethargy cycle. The reason so many people like in the ghetto don't work hard, it's not because they're lazy, it's because they're in a cycle and that poverty cycle is very hard to break because once you get poor, you don't have any money to invest in yourself. Wait, can I switch arms? This one hurts. I'm gonna hold it too. I'll do it. I'll double do it. Once you don't have any money, guess what? Then you can't invest in yourself. Then you can't take business opportunities. So you get more poor. And then once you're more poor, you lose your incentive to uh, work hard, which makes so it becomes this cycle over and over and over. Somebody says, Deja Spinney says, rockin' leather jacket. This is a very warm jacket. It'll keep you warm here, although LA is not that cold. Um, so I found that for me, the way to break the cycle is, it, I call it the chicken and the egg syndrome, right? So if you are depressed, it's hard to generate energy. But if you don't generate ed energy, you'll stay depressed. If you're broke, you don't have any capital to invest in yourself, you stay poor. So how do you break this chicken and the egg cycle? And this is actually an interesting question. How do you, what do you think comes first, the chicken or the egg? What's your opinion? Because it's a trick question. Chicken. I don't know. You think the chicken? I don't know. Well, the answer is you have to basically question. generate one of one of them, which is kind of tricky. So that's why in, in uh, evolution they call it. Oh, hello. Would you like to be in our video? Sure. Would you guys like to be in? We're on Facebook Live. We got a thousand people. Oh, that's amazing. Let me actually ask you a question. Come over let's here. Do, let's do it. We got some random. We have some random visitors. Hey, everybody. What's your guys' names? Harry. Harry. Jessica. Okay, Harry and Jessica. When's the last time you were depressed? Real um, talk. Yesterday. What depressed you? Um, just the way people act in our society. So someone pissed you off? Yes. Okay, so this book is called Feeling Good. Okay. It's written, there's two million copies. How to break depression without drugs. Because okay. most people just go on drugs. Yes, I agree. And it says there's a lethargy cycle. So once you get depressed, you get more lethargic. You don't want to hang out with people. Once you don't hang out with people and you start thinking people are all assholes, then you become more lonely. The more lonely and isolated you become, the more depressed you get because we're, we have a social trigger in our brain that has to be, you know, basically stimulated. So what it says is, and so I was talking about making money. What do you guys do for making money? What do you do for an income right now? Live life. Live life. You yeah, model. Pretty do you, much just try to like, hopefully I wake up and like, are money. you in school? No, I okay. kind of just literally just like do random things all day. Really? Yeah. Does that work to make much money? Yeah, I mean, it, I like yeah. You like that I mean, method? I like that method. I kind of just one. do whatever makes me happy, honestly. And then, like, if I make money off of it, awesome. If I don't, then I'm in my car chilling. So at least you're happy. Yeah. When all else fails, focus on happiness. See, and that's where sometimes I'll focus too much on happiness, and then I'll get depressed. Exactly. Then, well, you know, this is what I. Here's my advice. In my experience, happiness is like a cat. And if you want to pet a cat, whenever you try to pet a cat, it runs away from you. You gotta let it come to you. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. 
So for you, it sounds like if you pursue, what do you think? I'll ask you, actually, I just did a big conference. I'm gonna give you, you ready for a hard question? Yes. Okay, what do you think your core motivation is? Both of you answer. Hmm. And I'm gonna do a test to see if it's bullshit or not, because we all bullshit ourselves. Okay, my core motivation. Hmm. Can you give me like an example? So it could be money, it could be material things, it could be freedom, it could be, you know, art, it could be music, like uh, the, all people are different. Somebody said, is that guy a drug dealer? That's what he might be hinting at. <laughs> it's, definitely, it's a possibility. So We're not going to say anything, that on camera. Anything is possible. Anything is possible. Um, wow. What do you think? Well, he thinks. Mm. Just gut feeling. There's no right or wrong answer. Yeah, you can't I, go wrong. I don't know, maybe like inspiring people? Somebody said you're Vine famous. Are you big on Vine? <laughs> yeah. Okay, inspiring people. Now, here's my test. If you could never get married, never have kids, never find love, but you would inspire people, which one would you, which one would you take? You can only have one or the other. And you could never have would any money. You'd be broke. my husband and my, my children? No, no, you couldn't. That, that, we were going to exclude that. I call this the oh, core so motivation you test. You could pick one or the other. You would be the most motivating person, but you'd be I've broke and never find love. Okay, so we just found your true motivation is probably love over inspiring people. Inspiring people is a sub-motivation. What would you say? Okay, so if you could change the world, but never make any money, never find love, be lonely, would you Would you yes. do it? Okay, that's your core motivation. That's where, that's where I'm at right now. I feel, like, I feel like I'm already dead in life. That was good. Yeah. So now you're going to be born and revived and change the world. That's where I'm at. Literally, I'm reborn in life, and I just want to change the world. Awesome. I'm going to post this on my YouTube. Check it out on Ty Lopez. Thank Ty you, guys. Lopez. Fist bump. Awesome. Thank you for popping are in spontaneously. Like like do you write books? Or? I'm actually working on a book, but I do a lot of... I'm an entrepreneur. Awesome. So I usually talk about business, but I, was just, I found out that on Google... A million people a month Google depression. It's a huge problem. I'm not that depressed, so it made me think I'm gonna come look for a good book on depression. I own the biggest book club in the world too, really? so I like books. What, but check it out. What, Just tell open. Right check out this book. Feeling good. Yeah. Give what's him that copy. What's something that's less less of a difficult read over here? Less of a difficult read. Yeah, you know like, a good book. Like Want me to show you a book that changed my life? That's right here. Yeah, I would love. To I used that. to have $47 in my bank account, and I was basically homeless. I was sleeping on a couch in a mobile home. I'm gonna see if I can. Right here. Here's one. This is one of them. Grab this book right there. How to win friends and influence people. Oh, I heard about this. This book, book is fucking amazing. It's one of the best-selling books of all time. Tell me what you think about that book. All right. Yeah. I'll Reach out to me on YouTube or Twitter. It's just Hi. under Ty Lopez. Ty Lopez. Yeah. I'll tweet you. All right, my friend. Yeah, Thank man. you. Nice to meet you guys. You. Yeah, man. Change the world. I'm going to look you up one day. Do it, please. I want to see you change the world. I like that. That's a good core. Now. I think we're doing it right now. We are. All right. So, let's come back here. That was interesting. That was interesting. What do you think of that? There's interesting people no matter where you yeah, go. That was, That's a good a little good test. To say. They're very open and honest, which is hard to find when you talk to random people in public, but... And by the way, the reason most people are depressed is because your body's telling you you ain't doing the right thing. So always remember that. Some depression's good because it'll fuel you to push and move forward. So that's all I'm going to say on this. All you on Facebook, I'll be back. You got anything to add? Oh, leave a comment. Leave a little comment. I'm doing this iPad giveaway contest. So if you want to win a little iPad mini, leave your best tool at getting over depression. I'm going to pick one the next 24 hours, okay? and I'll send you an iPad mini. Talk to you soon.